What's up, Libra? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot. Here's a look at your week ahead, starting July 22nd, 2024. Libra, I hope all is well. This week, I'm using um, the Venetian Tarot to deliver your messages, not reading reversals. Just going to cleanse the energy from Dawn Virgo's messages, and we shall begin with Libra's messages. Okay, so what's coming up for Libra this week? Energies for Libra. And Libra, I'm not even sure if you received... Um, there was three signs that received the tower. I don't know if you were one of them, because once I do these readings, I don't go back to them unless somebody throws in a comment. But I do recall someone commenting uh, on something specific, and I guess it was regarding or relating to the tower. And I think the person was, um, you know, mentioning possibly that whole uh, situation with the ex-former president. Um someone trying to assassinate him i think that yeah and so i mentioned in cancer's video and i think leo's video when the tower shows up here it doesn't mean that it's going going to be something that may personally impact or affect you but i always throw in those words of caution for safety for you guys because it's uncontrollable you don't know how it's going to express itself so in the uh in in any event you may hear um shocking news or devastation i i emphasized that enough in the all the videos that came up with the tower and i said it may again not be something that personally impacts or affect affect you but you may hear something now to many that attempted assassination was shocking and it was also devastating okay so therefore um again when you receive the tower it may not be because I always talk about it could be on uh, the world stage, global stage, news coming in from all, you know, ports still. All right. So I just wanted to put that out there, Libra. Energies for Libra, the scales this week. What's going on? What's coming up potentially? Oh. All right, here we go. Libra, we're going to start off with temperance. So maybe, you know, things were out of sorts for you somewhat, you know. Uh, you were taking off balance a little bit. The scales were uneven. Now the temperance card, Major Arcana, comes in here to restore all of that energy, your balance, your peace, um, making you feel some type of way in a more loving way. Uh, nature and unwell yeah nurturing way towards others so it's loving yourself loving others uh, knowing um, your value and appreciation of self and others this is mother nature so you could be just spending some time outdoors enjoying mother nature and God's beauty um, it represents relationships of all kind bringing that energy back into balance and peace on top of the temperance here, we have the uh, Three of Cups. So there's a need to celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, something to be happy and joyous about. So you could be celebrating someone's birthday, someone's anniversary, spending quality time, of course, with family members, friends, romantic partners. I always talk about co-workers after work for happy hours. Okay, could be just that. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles, so paying attention to the details of your work, Libra, this week. Uh, some of you may be receiving a moderate pay raise, even number of pentacles. Again, it's balanced energy, and that energy could be stretched out into any area of your life. Remember, the temperance is restoring peace and balance, and now we have another card um, to validate that. The Okay, now we got the Eight of uh, Swords here. So the Eight of Swords, when it shows up, I always say be careful. Um, it does represent uh, air energy. So, you know, you have to be careful that if it does express itself towards you this week, Libra, that is something that you are definitely dealing with. And then you have to work on those en energies to bring down whatever it is that's, you know, been built up. Now, the uh, tricky part is, is that you have to be careful with this energy because... Um, involving a situation, person, or event, you might be overloading your mind thinking about those specifics regarding a person, situation, or event. So don't do that to yourself. Um, you're doing damage to your mental mind. You're not trapped here. You're not blindfolded. You know how to see your way out of a situation. 
If it is something that you deal with, deal with it because you don't ever want this energy here to linger around because then it may lead to the much worse energy, the Nine of Swords. Okay? So, um, I oftentimes read there could be uh, someone experiencing a break in communication with family members, romantic partners, or friends whenever the Eight of Swords is present. So, this is about worries. This is about uh, doubts. This is about about being fearful, possibly not sleeping well at night. Okay, but you want to squash all that. Then we have the Knave of Cups, the Page of Cups. This is some um, pregnancy news around you. Job offer, possibly. You can see he has the letter in his hand. There's some news coming here, right? That could be the job offer somebody was waiting for, the contract offer. The Knave of Cups is always the start of new beginnings here in terms of relationships, jobs, uh, could be platonic, yeah, I said relationships, platonic friendships, romantic partnerships, could also be uh, showing up here for those Libras who may have entered into a relationship and I always count it as 30 days, less than 30 days old, still fresh. On top of the Page of Cups now we have, ooh, look at that, you got the World card. All right, so the Major Arcana of the World card is here and you know this is about a chapter that's ending for you Libra new chapter is about to begin and it's normally positive this too is about those opportunities that come could come through that are expected or unexpected so you have a very positive card um, where something may be very opportunistic for you showing up in your life Up next, we have the, see, there's that Nine of Swords. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that because I called the Nine of Swords in the other sign too. So I felt bad when the Eight of Swords showed up here. And I said, work on these energies here because you don't want it to lead to the Nine of Swords. And lo and behold, the Nine of Swords showed up. Okay, so this Nine of Swords is definitely overthinking uh, Libra about a situation, person, or event. It could be unresolved, conflicting energies from your recent past, your distant past. This is feeling like you've been deceived, betrayed, lied to, um, all kinds of crazy stuff. But also, too, you know, because you have the Eight of Swords, even if you didn't, I still would have said that um, the instance of energy being expressed here could be that you're feeling like you're pulled in several different um, directions uh, mentally. You know what I mean? Like there's so much stuff going on. So many choices. You don't know what you, I, I got to do this. I got to do that. Or should I do this? Or should I do that? That's the type of energy that I'm referring to. And then I always talk about that. If it's not something that is going to express itself towards you, right, then it could be that you're connected or knowing someone who is incarcerated. Therefore, then it's their nine of swords energy. But this is the uh, seeking some sort of relief. So the relief could come through. Um, I always talk about prescription medication when it's anxiety or depression, non-prescription, could be weed smoking, drinking, whatever it is that's going to help you uh, through the day or the night. You need some sort of relief, okay? That is the Nine of Swords. And you know what? I just spent this entire time talking about the Nine of Swords where, don't these look like swords to you? And I call the Nine of Swords in the other video, too. You know, I hate using other... Well, I mean, I love using other decks because I like to change up the energy. But damn it, when I read this shit wrong... And I'm looking right at the wand down here at the bottom. So, Libra, I'm going to have to throw... Whatever sign that I just read for, I have to throw in an apology. That is the Nine of Wands, not the Nine of Swords. Oh, my God. So, this is a card. Strike what I just said. The entire thing of what I just said... This is the Nine of Wands, Libra. And then, you know, when I always correct myself, I don't have no shame and I'm not redoing this video uh, because I made one mistake. I'm letting you know that I'll correct my mistake as I see it. I saw that as I was about to draw the next card and I said, shit, this is the uh, wand down here at the bottom. But looking at it, I just assumed that it was the sword. You can see because it's sticking up from the... <laughs> Okay, so this is the Nine of Wands, one of the busy B cards. You'll have energy. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, it was the um, sign before you that had the Ten of Wands. So 
You'll have energy here to help you, to assist you, carry out whatever it is that you need to take care of this week, whether it's work-related, whether it's doing stuff for yourself, your family, romantic partners, whatever. The Nine of Wands comes in here to give you that, mm, that boost of energy. Okay, sorry about that, Libra. Damn. Anyway, up next is the Four of Pentacles here. So you're holding on tight to something that needs to be uh, released and let go, whatever it is. It could be for some of you a moderate pay raise, um, saving up for something greater. The withholding of love and affection, since this is an open general reading, could be stretched out to family members, friends, or romantic partners. All right, that's the Four of Pentacles. On top of that Four of Pentacles here, we have the Knight of Cups. I'm looking at these elements now. Knight of Cups is here. <laughs> so the Knight of Cups could be, it's on the money card, a job offer, someone getting promoted, possibly, contract offer. Now this also, too, specifically could be uh, referencing those Libras who are in um, relationships, committed relationships. And because it lands on this four of pentacles here where I talk about releasing and letting go, then the relationship that you may be in romantically may be fine, perfectly fine. But I see this as an instance of, okay, either you need space or that person needs space. And um, if it's not between you or them, then it just, you know, give each other space somehow. Think about giving each other some sort of space. That's how your relationships will last longer. Remember the four pentacles releasing something and letting it go uh, a little bit. Not letting it go entirely in terms of ending it. No, it just means that maybe somebody or you needs to be um, pulled apart for a moment. All right. After the nine of cups here, now we have, what do we have here? We have the ace of pentacles. Money looking good. So this, again, could be the job offer. You already have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the uh, Four of Pentacles. So this could be the um, unlimited amount of money that you have the potential of earning, making, or whatever. This could be starting a business, starting to save, starting to uh, invest. It could be also uh, looked upon as the energy of your own finances starting to improve. Okay, starting to stabilize, get better. Following the Ace of Pentacles here for you, we have the Nine of... Now, <laughs> here's the Nine of Swords, Libra. Look at that. Look at the swords. Damn. You can see the swords being projected here on the wall. Now, this is the... Energy that I had just went at length talking about when I thought this was the Nine of Swords. Having feeling like you're overthinking about a situation, person, or event. Now I'm mad because I have to repeat the same shit over again. Okay, so uh, overthinking about a situation, person, or event. Feeling like you've been used. Unresolved inner conflict, external conflict from your recent or distant past. Uh, seeking some sort of relief through prescription medications uh, for high anxiety. It could be drinking, smoking, gambling for non-prescription medication. Um, what else? I did say <laughs> that you may be connected to somebody who is incarcerated if this nine of swords does not express itself towards you. Having to have worked on the, and it sits underneath the eight of swords, having to work on that eight of swords to make sure that you do not fall into the trap of the nine of swords by, you know, not acknowledging or trying to remedy what's ever causing some sort of conflict for you on a personal level. Feeling like you've been betrayed, lied to, deceived, sh uh, shamed, worried, doubtful, fearful. Ex and it's all in the excess. All right, on top of that Nine of Swords here, Libra, we have the Magician. Yep. Magician, two sides. I read uh, the first half is positive. It's always about trying to, um, it's not really trying, it's what you want to manifest and what you desire to bring into your life. Um, so whatever that energy may be for you, um, you know, I always throw the examples out. 
uh, of marriage, career change, job change, moving, purchasing a home, whatever it is. Uh, if you are into, um, you know, throwing out prayers and mantras and affirmations and trying to manifest your wants and desires, continue to do that. Throw that energy out there. Uh, let the universe absorb it or the higher source of energy that you believe in and let them take care of it. OK, and move away from that and just move away with patience and faith, knowing that whatever it is that you are wanting or desiring, know that it's going to come to you. OK, you have to believe as well. On the uh, opposite end, the negative end, you still have to be careful of strangers here, Libra. These people put on, uh, you know, uh, mask, so they create some sort of illusion. They're trying to get something from you. So it's, they're in the form of, you know, manipulating, extracting, controlling. Know the difference, okay? Know the difference. And it could come from any source of energy, strangers, family members, romantic partners, or friends. They are always taking, never giving. Up next now, we have the King of Cups, the father of all love. Well, he's nurturing. He's very intuitive. He's coming in here to assist you in terms of trusting your intuition, the process, the inner voices, the gut feelings that you hear. You have to pay attention to that energy. Now, he's nourishing. He's nourishing. He's caring um, to see, uh, excuse me. To receive this card in your spread, I always talk about its accomplishment of uh, emotional satisfaction, fulfillment, contentment, as well as happiness, right? This could represent male energy, so it could be your boyfriend, your husband, your father, your grandfather, and so forth. They're very into uh, supporting you, or it could be that's, you know, the characteristics of this energy expressed towards Libra, and that's how you are. You come across as very... Uh, supportive and caring, nourishing and loving. Okay, coming across also as uh, compassionate. Last card I have for you, Libra. Oh, now, now you have the tower. Second sign has received the tower. Let's follow through. Um, tower, of course, I'm going to say um, there's an expectation of hearing shocking and devastating news. Again, it may not be something that personally impacts or affects you, but because this energy is always uncontrollable, Libra, you cannot control it. OK, so just note. But I caution you and I always caution, you know, uh, the sign that I'm reading for. Just don't get yourself involved or engaged in any types of arguments with anyone because it's going to turn out to be nasty also, um, let's just see, you have the, um, well, there's the, yeah, the magician on the negative end. I thought you drew the, you got the king of cups, that's a court card, and you have the knave of cups. So those are people involving um, relationships. So be careful of not engaging, all right? So the tower here could just be, um, things that you hear are shocking or devastating from a global aspect, worldly aspect, could be local aspect as well. Earthquakes or weather, things that are just beyond comprehension sometimes. And, you know, we already seen what happened over the weekend, um, you know, with the ex-former uh, president. And I don't know why they continue to call him you know, president as if he's the current president. He is not. He is the former president. And maybe it's a projection. I don't know. Um, anyway, that's the tower. Let's see what's going to go on this tower. Keep in mind, though, Libra, you do have the um, world card here. Um, and, and also to the positive aspect of the magician to take down that tower just a little bit. But on top of that uh, tower, we're going to finish off with the Two of Cups. All right, so the Two of Cups specifically, there could be an instance here of something going on, even though it's a very positive card. But I chose to, you know, randomly put cards on top of other cards and then try to give you a message to see, um, you know, if there's a connection. But there could, and, and what I just say, I said, don't get yourself engaged in any arguments with anyone. Even though this is not a court card, you still have, uh, it represents relationships. So this is, you know, still 
uh, on the positive end before I even make this connection, um, two of cups is seeing eye to eye with one another, like mindedness, equal number of cups. What you give is what you get back, right? Could be first dates out, first um, invitations. It doesn't really matter. It's just sharing each other uh, and their energy equally. Now, on top of this, it's like there could be a shakeup with a specific relationship. However, this is specific to romance because I only read the two of cups as romance, not platonic, not family. So there could be some sort of shocking or devastating news involving someone in their relationship. OK, and like I said before, not to get yourself involved in to any arguments romance romantic relationships all right so this is what i have for you libra this week remember it's just soul from intuitive tarot delivering these messages here you know always take what's going to work for you leave the rest alone always throwing in that extra word of caution when the tower is present in your spread uh please like the video share the video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already come back and get more of these videos messages from me right but come back smiling, come back safe. Talk to you later, Libra. Bye.